The emergency cryocatharoidotomy is a life-saving procedure in the can't intubate, can't ventilate scenario in patients over eight years of age. It is important to correctly identify the anatomy of the cryocathyroid membrane. Palpate the thyroid cartilage and slide a finger cordially until a small depression is felt. Equipment you will require for the surgical cryocathyroidotomy. Nasal prongs to passively oxygenate the patient during the procedure an ambu bag and filter for ventilating the patient after the tube is placed, sterile gloves and cleaning equipment. From a CVP pack, a syringe, needle and guide wire, a size 10 blade, a small art curved artery forceps or hemostat, small endotracheal tube size 5 or 6, alternatively a small tracheostomy tube and some tape to secure. The technique for the emergency cryocathyroidotomy. Continue to oxygenate the patient either with bag mask ventilation by an assistant or by applying nasal prong oxygen for passive oxygenation. Clean the neck as for any sterile procedure. Identify the cryocathyroid membrane if time permits, infiltrate local anesthetic into the area. Stabilize the thyroid cartilage between the thumb and middle finger of the non-dominant hand and palpate the cryocathyroid membrane with the index finger. Using the needle and syringe from a CVP pack, puncture the cryocathyroid membrane, aspirate to ensure that you are in the trachea, use the guide wire, Place the guide wire into the trachea. Remove the needle. Thread a size 5 or 6 in the tracheal tube over the guide wire. Use a size 10 blade to make a horizontal stab incision over the guide wire into the trachea. Using your curved artery forceps or a hemostat, spread open the incision and use it to guide your endotracheal tube into the trachea over the guide wire. Once the endotracheal tube, the balloon has gone into the trachea, remove the guide wire, inflate the balloon, attach your ambu bag, hold the tube at the incision site and ventilate the patient, doing five point auscultation to confirm placement. Tape can now be used to secure the tube. The patient can be ventilated for 24 hours through a um, surgical cryocathyroidotomy, but after that a formal surgical airway should be placed.